Alrighty, so we've got the Kingsong S22 here, and this is gonna be a quick disassembly video on getting the motor out so that you can ship the motors back and get the replacements. So first of all, we're gonna take the seat off if you have the seat Velcroed here. There's gonna be two Phillips screws. We're just gonna undo these real quick. One, two. This will just slide right off. We'll save these screws. Next, we'll take a four, so you could have either an Allen or a little drill bit. And we're gonna remove these four on this side and these four on this side, holding the board down. I don't know why this one's so tight. Okay, once we have those eight loosened, we can lower the lift sensor handle and this board housing will come loose. You'll see here, there is three connectors in each one. We're just gonna go ahead and undo those. So one, two, and three. And one, two, and three. And we'll be able to flip this over. So there is some thermal grease here. Just be careful, it does kind of get a little messy if you grab your hand on it. So now you'll see these four screws here. We'll take our screwdriver again, Phillips, and remove these. So then this little plastic cover is gonna come up. On the first generations, there might be some silicone here as well. You can just take like a razor blade and just carefully slice to loosen that up. And just wiggle this up. So now you'll see three uh, phase wires and the hull sensor. So we're just gonna unplug these. Remember the color orientation, blue, green, yellow from left to right. We're just gonna undo these. Okay. And then there's like a little tab here that you will have to kind of depress and pinch for the hull sensor to come out. So once that's done, you can set this aside. I got thermal grease everywhere. <laughs> I hate this. I'm actually gonna wipe that up a little bit. I hate it. All right, now that we have that part done, we're gonna focus on these screws on each side. So there's three long ones. So if you do have a shorter tool like this, it can be very difficult to, you know, get it in there because you can't get a full rotation per se, because you're gonna be hitting. So if you can get one, a nice long one is gonna be your best tool for the job. Go ahead and lay this down. We're just gonna take the long tool here. So I like to do it by loosening each one separately, use the same amount of force, but they are pretty long. So it will take a little bit of time. And uh, you will notice that these do have blue Loctite on them. So when you do reassemble, just probably another little drop of Loctite will help a lot. So we've got those three out here. Get the same three. So now we're gonna try and undo these large five millimeter ones. Sometimes these are able to come out on their own. If they look like they're free spinning like this, it's gonna be a little bit harder to remove. Some people can kind of get lucky by getting a tool underneath to hold the other side. Um, not always, but in this case, we're gonna take apart the top part of the suspension as well. So we'll grab two fives. One goes underneath here. One goes on top here. I hate this. Why are they like this? There we go. So there is a small black plastic washer on the sides of these. Make sure you don't lose those. Please. So when the handle is installed, these go on the outside of the handles. You'll need to remember that for reassembly. 
So now this entire back portion is loose, so just keep that in mind when you're moving it around. So now we're gonna lay the wheel down on its side with the tire facing me. I'm just gonna pull some tire assembly out, including this, now that this is loose. All right. So this is now your S22 battery briefcase. You can set that aside. So now we have this to work on. We're gonna unscrew all of the rails, the sliders. There's four screws on each. These screws are slightly shorter for the ones that are lower down. So when you're when you are taking these out and needing to reassemble, just remember that these screws here. I'll put them here. Easier to see. One of them is slightly shorter than the other. The shorter ones go in the holes that are slightly lower down. So that we'll remove the rails, sliders. We'll get our number four millimeter. These are usually a little bit Loctited in, so it might take a little bit. So then we'll take the Phillips. There's four screws here, so one, two, three, four. Small little ones. And then these top two are a little different. These are actually wood screws that you can see. So when you're when you are reassembling, again, just remember there's two types of screws. The wood screws will go into the fender. Flip this over again, remembering that this is all loose, so just be careful. So the motor cable is covering these screws, so we're just gonna pull it through that little gap and down, get these screws while we still have the Phillips. Back to the three to get the sliders. Now, with all of these unattached, this fender is now loose. So we can pull the fender out, being careful of this shock assembly. And then this can now clear the tire. If, if uh, it is having trouble clear, you can also deflate the tire down. But now we have the motor. So this is the state of the motor that you will send to us. These screws that King Song puts are often very tight, Loctited, they do need some heat, torch. Um, they do strip very easily. So in this instance, we would prefer that you just leave these plates on, send us your motor just like this. Um, we will have a box and a return label uh, shipped to you for the motor. And once you ship your motor like this, we will do the work of removing these plates, installing these plates onto your new motor before shipping it back to you. And then you will have to do the reassembly when you get it. Okay, also when shipping, it might be a good idea to just zip tie your phase wires to the little frame here. That way it's not gonna get rattled around, you know, in the box, have something damage it. All right, if you've been following us uh, through this disassembly up to the point of removing the motor, these are the screws that you're gonna have from the disassembly. So these screws here, these are the four millimeters that screw your motherboard down. These are for the top of the suspension where the handle goes. These go right through here. And then these also have the black washer on the outside um, as mentioned earlier, so those go together. So these long black ones here, these are the ones that go through the suspension that hold the motor to the entire frame. Then you have two sets of eight screws each. Like I said earlier, one of them is ever so slightly longer than the other. Those are for your sliders. 
So shorter screws in the slightly lower hole, longer screws in the top. These two screws are what hold the plastic top piece on top of the board here. And then you have these four screws holding the fender to the motor frame here. And then last but not least, you have these small tiny screws. These are for the motor cable, cable holders that hold this to the top of the fender. The small pointier wood screws go into the fender here. And then the other small screws will go into the metal bracket here. That should be all of the screws. This is for the bottom here, covering the phase wires. Once you plug those all back in, four screws. Um, I think that's it. Hopefully it's not, uh, hopefully it's not too difficult of a task. Alrighty guys, so once you have your motor removed, we will send you a box just like this. We're gonna show you to package it up real fast. So you'll get two of the foam blocks, a return label. If you don't get a return label in your box, send us an email saying that you didn't get one with your order number. So it's a pretty big box, 20 by 20 by four. Just to hold it for now. So for your motor, these foam are gonna go right in the middle of it. So right in the middle of the box. We're gonna make sure that that's centered well. And the size of this box will allow very little movement for the motor right there. Like this. All right, just like that. Pull the seam together. Okay, so you got a nice box now, foam on top and bottom tire on all four sides, it's not gonna get hurt. There's no real room to move around in here. You're gonna slap your label on, make sure it's stuck to the box, not gonna get lost. And bring it to your local UPS store to get it shipped back to us.